Alright, what's up guys? It's Nick here and I am where I probably should have been in my first video. I finally picked up Shangri-La here on the PC, so we are going to go ahead and take a look at some wonderful things. I gotta turn my god mode on because if I teleport out of the map here, um, I will get killed. Now there's gonna be some interesting uh, sounds going on here in the background, so I'll, I'll turn it down and frame rate my suffer. But okay, here we are where we first were uh, in the first video. You can see the mountain out there. So let's go ahead and take a closer look here. So we've got down here below, you can see the water meandering down through this grassy valley, all kinds of fun stuff. But uh, I'm revisiting in this video the original Mars theory because obviously it's a bit far-fetched and you just gotta you just gotta toss things out sometimes and let it stick to the wall. Alright, so we're gonna go all the way out here to the actual texture. We're gonna leave Shangri-La. You can see here that the mountain is, well, largely what we thought it was. There is the red rocks, and it, it's, it generally looks like a canyon wall. Uh, you can see here on the left, you can see this green mountain. You can see the dried ground on this side. So right there, you can definitely see the contrast uh, between these two objects here. But the interesting thing is, when you get closer to this mountain... Uh, and you actually take a closer look at it, it, it really makes you think that it is on Earth and not on another planet. And I don't know if you can start to see this form here, but actually on the bottom of this canyon here, you can see uh, green plants growing, which obviously wouldn't happen on Mars, which is great. I'm glad you guys were able to freely discuss this on the video. I had a great time talking with everyone. It was awesome. But, uh... Yeah, you guys generally convinced me that we do need to go back and uh, rediscuss a couple things about this theory with this mountain. Uh, because Mars is a bit far-fetched. But uh, a boy can dream, let's say that. A boy can dream. Uh, but as we get closer here, you can see these green uh, plants are growing at the bottom here. So, to me, what this indicates is that down along this bottom area here, there would be a lake passing, a river, sorry, a river passing by in this canyon. Uh, you have your greens growing there because the water, obviously, can saturate into the ground and, uh, and make stuff grow. And then the walls here, once again, you've got this big, uh, this big, you know, cuts in the wall where the river's cut down. Here's the face that we were actually originally seeing, which is pretty interesting. I'm not sure if that's natural or something they added in. Uh, and, and one point of it was, there is a famous Mars image of a face um, taken years ago, back in the 70s, I want to say, by one of the first orbiters. Actually, it was probably taken by Voyager, which is now uh, outside of our galaxy, or our solar system. But there's the face. It, it looks like that may be in there just for, for the lulls. But this is, this is the canyon wall here. Uh, and to me, what this looks like is they literally went out, took a picture either off Google or they went on location and took a photo. Um, and they just kind of photoshopped it in here as the skybox. And so, so, yeah, this is the the thing that we were looking at. And this is a better look at it here, which we probably should have done in the first place. But this uh, makes me want to go back, and I found a couple things in the comments that people had left and suggested to me. And, and uh, Rad Austin's awesome guy uh, put up his theory too, which is great. Um, so we're going to go ahead back to the wonderful video editing space and discuss that. Alright, so the picture you see here is from Sedona, Arizona. This is a place in Arizona on Earth. Uh, it's known for its red rocks and distinctive style. Uh, now obviously this is a bit too green to exactly match the mountain, but I would like to argue that we're not looking for a specific place. Uh, these can give us clues such as canyons or valleys, uh, such as the loading screen. I think that definitely indicates that we are in some type of valley somewhere. And that mountain is probably a picture from the Great Canyon, or the Grand Canyon, I'm sorry. The, uh, that picture on Shangri-La is probably from the Grand Canyon, if you ask me. And that's because, well, there's no you know, if it's on some other planet, there's no real picture from that planet that they can use. Uh, so I think that that picture that we see on Shangri-La is maybe just being used as a reference or a hint. Uh, I don't think we're looking for a specific match, or best, that would not be the place to start for a specific match. Uh, what I would rather like to say is that 
We're not looking for anywhere specific on Earth or on the Moon or on Mars or on Venus or Pluto. It could be anywhere. This is the uh, Hubble Ultra Deep Space. It's a magnificent photo. Basically, they took it and pointed it at a part of space that they thought was completely blank. No stars, no light, nothing. Just devoid. And they zoomed in really, really deep, and then when they got these photos back, they analyzed them, cleaned out all the uh, the radiation, and they got the light that stayed constant. And these are all different galaxies. These are millions of galaxies here. Each of these galaxies have millions has millions of stars in them. Each of those stars have millions of chances to have planets orbiting them. So really, Shangri-La could be anywhere in the universe. And I think that this is maybe meant to hint, instead of that Shangri-La is at a specific place, maybe we should be pursuing the possibility that Shangri-La is at another, some place altogether. Uh, you know, it doesn't have to be on Earth, it doesn't have to be on Moon, it doesn't have to be on Mars, it could just be anywhere. That's a possibility I'd like to raise now. Um, I'm going to keep pursuing other places because I feel like that's a cop-out. You know, we, the whole community of Zombies fans, we like to dig deep, you know, we like to see what's going on, we like to all discuss things and find specific things, which is great, I think we need to keep doing that, but this is a possibility that maybe it's just relating that it's somewhere else, you know, maybe we're not trying to find some place specific. All right, so now I'd like to discuss a theory uh, that Rad Austin's 27 put out, great guy, I had a chat with him the other day, awesome, um which was talking about it's on the moon, uh, specifically in the Tacitus uh, moon crater there. And the thing about Tacitus is, yes, it was hinted at, and yes, it exists on moon, but in my mind, um, Tacitus refers directly to, at least in the single-player campaign, at least what we know so far, uh, is that Tacitus is a weapons manufacturing company, and that's pointed to by some classified intel on CallofDuty.com. So it could play into zombies, or it could end up like GK Nova 6, where we have this whole viral, we think it's for zombies, and then it ends up being mostly for campaign. There's some connections there, uh, but it's mostly for campaign. Anyway, this is this is actually uh, from a post August 17th, 2011. So this idea has been out for a while. You see here on the Shangri-La loading screen this temple. And then this next image I want to show you here is actually uh, from Moon. And you see that right now. And basically you see the temple, it seems, flying by in the distance. And you also see a temple that's landed on the moon, which is crazy. You see Samantha's shadow there. So yes, this is to me, suggesting that there's some type of rift in the whole zombie story. There's stuff being thrown everywhere. You know, the temple is on the moon. But thing is, where is Shangri-La? I think this is something that we need to find and revisit. Obviously, it's not on Mars, most likely, because they have to breathe. It's possible, but it's it's loose. Same with the moon. Um, how are they breathing? That type of stuff. It opens up a whole realm of possibilities, but the greatest thing I think that has come out of this is that the whole community is working together on this, which is awesome. Feels great. Um, so, you know, I just let's keep brainstorming on this. Let's see what we can get going. Uh, I, I don't think we're looking for something specific. I think we're looking for more of a general idea of Shangri-La is where it's not supposed to be. Maybe this tornado and the fact that that, that is out of place, that mountain, and we see stuff on moon, maybe it's just suggesting that everything has been thrown upside down. You know, maybe we're not trying to find something specific. Maybe it's just the idea, the concept that things have been turned upside down, which really hasn't been mentioned before. And it makes sense, because the zombie developers, they want us to know the essential things to get us ready for Black Ops 2. You know, they have a story written out. There is a script. They are planned for this thing. They are ready to go for Black Ops 2, so I say bring it. Um, thanks again to everyone. I can't wait to bring you guys more theory videos. It's great to be able to discuss these things uh, with you guys. Absolutely awesome. Um, I got something really cool coming out this next week that I really hope you guys will enjoy. Um, but thanks again to everyone. Rad Austin, great theory. It was awesome discussing stuff with you. And uh, I'm really happy everyone came together on this. We put stuff together. But I think we're mostly just looking at the idea that things have been thrown around and messed up rather than a specific place because... While Treyarch likes to fuck with our minds, I really do hope they wouldn't fuck us that much. Uh, so thanks, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.